Well, I'm really bad at saying what I'm going to get done, so I think I'll just skip that part. Well, good morning, everyone. We had some rain last night. Uh, in fact, it rained most of the night. Uh, things are wet, but they're not overly <clears throat> soggy, thankfully, because I need to get this trench dug, and I need to get it dug now since I've got paid for the trench, the rental fee on the trench here. All right. Well, I'm out here in our current field and one of the things I was going to do with this and now I know I need to is as you can see that was not the angle it was at whenever I was here last um, it did shift I had the bolts tightened tightened down but I'd actually plan on putting a set screw or something else and I'm still gonna have to do that now um, especially if I'm going to want it to charge and not have to, I mean, I can adjust it and it's going to stay, but who knows how long before, you know, might, might fall again. So <clears throat> I'm going to work on that. Let me show you the plan. So I need to go from over there to there. It's less than 50 feet. And so I'm going to get the tool. I'm going to probably have to move some of those logs. But I'm going to get the trencher and trench. I probably, because things are so wet, though it's, I think all the rain's passed, I'm going to move some of this stuff out. I'm probably going to move some of these uh, logs to somewhere else so I can make just a straight line and I don't have to go around stuff if at all possible. Um, I think at the moment I'm going to go pretty much to this seam. Uh, at one point I was going to put the batteries on that side, but now I think I'm going to put them on this side. There's a shelf already right here, I think, that'll hold the batteries. I'm going to double check that. It'll hold two, but as I add more, I just, you know, I want to make sure it's going to hold all the batteries that's needed. So that's it. I've had breakfast. I've had couple cups of coffee it's not bad it's in the low 70s this morning I think I am gonna start by uh, finishing up that gate project that I was working on yesterday right before the rain got here anyway it's time to get started no more dilly-dallying it is uh, right around 8 o'clock so I'm gonna get this day started and see how much I can get done hopefully I'll get well I'm really bad at saying what I'm gonna get done so I think I'll just skip that part Let's get started. All right, so pretty much this is going to be it. I'm just going to uh, loop this wire I just cut around this. Just loop it around and it'll give us Give us a way to keep the gate closed. We can close it and we can open it. That project is done. I just hope the rest go as easy as that. All right, I've got a hole underneath the uh, siding of the shed. Uh, I also have my batteries wired together and I've got my holes marked for the inverter that I currently have so we're doing good in here let me take you outside all right over here at the solar panels I've already dug a hole down at least a little bit because I don't want to uh, get the uh, trencher that close if I can help it since I really barely know what I'm doing and over here 
I've also dug a hole, hence the sunlight we saw through there. And so I'll be able to run my conduit underneath that. And all I really need to do now is move some of these logs and get the trencher over here. And then wire it all together and start getting some electricity. It's supposed to be a cool night, so it'd be awesome if I can get those batteries charged. We have a trench, which is good because it's time for a water break. Um, but before I go do that, let me show you what I got. All right, some of this I'll still have to dig out more with uh, the shovel, but I have a trench. The PVC pipe uh, will bend around that. I had a nice straight line up until I had to tie into the other one. Um, but this should work. I'll know more here in a little bit, but I need a, 
I need a uh, water break. But I'm pretty excited about that. While we're out here, you can see the panels. We got full sun, half for a while, and it's 10 o'clock. So, well, as full sun as we got right now today, but we should be good. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen it here until four at least. So if we can get at least six hours, if I can get eight, I'll be better, but uh, six will be good. Anyway, water break and then get the PVC pipe and the electric line out and we'll start getting this put together. So I've got my 10 gauge wire through the PVC pipe, down the trench, and into the shed. Now all I have to do is go inside, hook it up to the batteries. I also bought some clamps. So I'll clamp this pipe to the board there, the 4x4, to bring it up here, and then I'll finish working on this box so uh, we can keep the charge controller dry and cool. I'm putting them. We have power. Uh, finally got everything taken care of. I got it all wired up. I got the batteries wired in the shed. And they're wired together. I got the wire through the PVC pipe. Um, I haven't covered it yet because I wanted to get the batteries charging. Um, I've got the panels plugged into the charge controller and let me show you. All right, it's telling me that Sorry, the dam's letting water out. Or stopping, I'm not sure which. I haven't been down to look. All right, so the top light's telling us that the solar panels are active. It's not night, we're getting a charge off of it. We have a battery. We had the third light there, the, there's no light. The third one there is, uh, do we have any DC load? Like if I had a DC light bulb or something like that. And the last one's telling me if there's any kind of warnings. Um, down here, getting 14.3 volts. At the moment it's super sunny and uh, I mean things are going good and it's 32 degrees Celsius according to this temperature gauge which I will mount inside the box um, I do have a Bluetooth transmitter there and so it'll talk to my uh, phone while I'm here I got some stuff to do here I'm gonna put a roof hold on a second there we go. I'm going to put a roof up here, a door with a couple of uh, supports here so that these side walls don't uh, collapse on me. All right. Um, I still have to fill in the trench. I have to mount the charge controller, sorry, the inverter in the shed. So then we can just plug into the inverter or we can plug into the generator depending if we're going to use air conditioner or not. Uh, once all that's done, and I don't know if I'm going to do this in what order, but I need to finish this box. I need to put in the hardware cloth. I need to put in the roof. I need to put in some supports and the door hinges and a latch so I can keep this, uh, keep it dry, keep the critters away from it. But we have power and that's what I came down here to do. So I am extremely happy right now, um, but I still got work to do. So it's done. Um, it took me about six hours to uh, dig the trench, run the wire, hook up the controller, and uh, set up the batteries and, and hang up the power inverter. But it is done. I am, I'm stoked. Uh, we are so tired of carrying batteries. Um, here. So there we are. It's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. Lots of sunlight. Uh, I'm going to keep monitoring it and see how it goes. As time goes, we may take down a few more trees here and there. I'll have to adjust the uh, angle of the solar panels as we get into winter. I did go ahead and set a screw on both sides just to help keep it um, keep it from uh, 
changing the angle the uh man i'm just excited but it uh i've got the trench filled back in i've got the uh there we go i got the box in i've got a vent up at the top the whole bottom is a vent to try to make sure we keep good air circulation in here um, there's a temperature there's a bluetooth connection and then uh yeah that's pretty much it we will be adding more batteries again twos i, I want more than two i gotta go back and find hold on i need to go back and find what i was seeing about the air conditioners and how many i'm going to need to run the air conditioner for eight hours only at night uh, that way we can sit on the front porch and we can listen to the peace and quiet instead of listen to that crazy generator that y'all have heard as i've done some of these videos uh, i'm tired but it's a good tired uh, that 200 bucks for the uh, trenching tool was definitely worth it i would still be digging instead of being done if uh, i hadn't had that the last hold on one second here and then here we are i've got the two batteries hooked up and this small charge controller yeah it's only a 1600 watt peak 800 watt i initially want a 4000 watt uh, that way it'll be strong enough to run the air conditioner but i'll need more batteries i'll need to make some more shelving um but at the moment i think this is this will this will get us for right now and i'm extremely happy about that so 2 30 i'll probably have another water break and then the next i don't know we had so much rain last night i'm not sure i could burn though it'd be a good day to do it if i could get it started uh, next thing though up i think is to uh, place the deer feeder and get it out down where i'm wanting it but that's gonna that's gonna be some manual labor i wish i had a nice good four-wheel drive pickup truck and i could just drive down there but i don't our pickup's not four-wheel drive and i don't trust driving down there um, in it all right y'all well um solar panels are installed i'm sorry but that's just a beautiful sight right there uh solar panels are installed uh charging the battery if we weather stays the way it is now i won't be running the generator well the day's over um it's time for some dinner time for a shower not in that order um but uh i had a good day i got everything done i wanted to get done i got the uh, feeder put out i got the solar panels of course taken care of i checked my game cameras and got nothing but a squirrel which was frustrating but uh, everything I really wanted to do, I got done. I thought about possibly working on the burn pile. Because I could start and just keep adding to it. But I don't want to get hot and sweaty after I take my shower. And it's time for some food. And, um, sorry. The little one in the middle is the burn pile. Everything else still has to burn. It just a little bit at a time. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do it today. Maybe in the morning, but probably not because I don't want to get one going before going home. So um, tomorrow I may just relax, which is completely unheard of. The solar panels seem to be doing well. Everything's charging as it's supposed to. I've even got it, the house hooked up to the solar panels right now. 
Now I don't have any electric going on, but uh, being used rather, but uh, I've got it plugged in. So when I get back from dinner, I can turn on a light or do whatever I want. So I'm really excited about this. It is five o'clock and we still have We still have sun on the panels, at least some. I know I've got a few more trees that could come down and would get me more sun, but I just don't want to bring those down yet. There may come a time, but not today. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'd like to leave as many trees as possible anyway, before. That's pretty much it. I don't foresee adding anything else today. Like I said, shower and dinner and relaxing. And it's not horrible outside. It's in the mid 80s at the moment. So uh, if I'm not doing anything, maybe I won't be a hot, sweaty mess. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you have any questions, let me know. I can hopefully, uh, possibly anyway, uh, help you out. But right now it's just, we'll slowly start adding batteries and see how generation goes and, and uh, not have to cart ba batteries back and forth between here and the house, which is, that's really awesome. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you had a great day. I know I did, and I'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care now. Bye.